The Little Blue Cottage by Kelly Jordan Illustrated by Jessica Courtney Tickle The Little Blue Cottage sat by the bay where pelicans flew and orange foxes played. All year the cottage waited for summer to return and with it the little girl. When the weather grew warmer, she finally arrived. The cottage whistled and hummed and filled with light. Nose to window, the girl gazed at the waves and whispered, You are my favorite place. Gray dolphins dove and white seagulls sang. Bright colored boats bounced over the bay. When nighttime came, the rocking chairs creaked. Waves lulled the girl and her cottage to sleep. Then it was fall and the girl left again. As leaves turned to gold, the blue cottage sighed. When winter time came, the girl stayed away while the little cottage shivered through snow, ice, and rain. Summer came, dolphins splashed, and the blue cottage hoped watching for the girl on the red clay road. Eventually, a honk honk echoed around the bend and the girl had come back to the cottage again. The little cottage smelled like bacon, pancakes, and popcorn. The little girl smelled like syrup, sunscreen, and sea. The girl cuddled close in her favorite nook and whispered, I miss you when I'm away. When heat filled the cottage, the girl stayed outside. The cottage kept watch as she caught fireflies. She swam like a mermaid and yelled in the wind, faster, faster, and again, again. When thunderstorms gathered, the girl hid indoors, where it was cozy, safe, quiet, and warm. Wild waves crashed in the world filled with water. As angry winds howled, the little cottage stood strong. Year after year, and night after day, the girl and the cottage, the sun and the rain. They grew up together from summer to summer, the little blue cottage, the little bay girl. Then, one summer arrived and the girl stayed away. The cottage waited and waited. The kitchen was silent, smells of syrup fading. The boat went unused and games went unplayed. The cottage sat empty and dimming to gray through holidays, heat waves, and hurricanes. Years came and went along with the hope that the girl would appear on the red clay road. Then one day, a faint beep beep echoed in the drive. Gravel crunched under feet, and the little cottage cried, at last! The girl, now a mother, had finally arrived. The cottage whistled and hummed and filled with light. The girl opened the windows and breathed in the waves. I missed you, she whispered, while I was away. She repainted the cottage so it once more gleamed blue. It was just like new. It was just like always. The rooms filled again with family, seashells, and songs. The little cottage beamed bright as the days lingered long. Gray dolphins dove and white seagulls sang. Bright colored boats bounced over the bay. When nighttime came, the rocking chairs creaked. Waves lulled the girl and her cottage to sleep.